HubSpot sales workspace is the end all be all spot for where your salespeople should be operating inside of HubSpot. I'm gonna show you the ins and outs and how it works in today's HubSpot hack. All right, folks, first thing I should mention is that this is a sales professional or enterprise feature only. So if you have those hubs, continue watching. If not, you might wanna look into upgrading. There's some awesome features on professional enterprise that you could definitely benefit from in the sales hub. But first thing first, we wanna log into HubSpot and on the left-hand side navigation, go to workspaces and then you'll see sales up here. So at the time of filming this video, this is currently in beta. So by the time you're watching, it might be out of beta or you might still need to opt into it um, through the product updates page, which we have another video about that I'm gonna to link to here. But we'll click onto the sales workspace and opens up a tab, which is gonna be my entire view of everything I need to know what's going on for my day to day with any deals that I have open, any leads that I'm working, all here in one view. So right here from the bat is a summary page. And I highly recommend that any salespeople who are full-time sales using HubSpot for sales actually bookmark this page and make it their home homepage in HubSpot. As soon as they log in, open up Chrome or whatever browser you're using, they just can click a shortcut in HubSpot and it takes them to this summary page. But from here, I can see everything that I'm gonna be doing for the day. I see all of my tasks that are due, the number of calls, and broken down into different queues, like calls, emails, to-dos, LinkedIn requests. And if I had anything overdue or due tomorrow, um, so if anything overdue that I should have gotten to yesterday or, or days before would be here. And if I was able to get ahead of myself and start checking off tomorrow's tasks, I'd be able to check into that, click into that as well here. On this right-hand side, we have my schedule for the day. So it shows me when my tasks are due, if the case they're due at specific times, all of mine are due at 8 a.m. Um, all of the different calls that I have scheduled throughout the day, any internal meetings and external meetings are listed here as well. I can change the tab here to go to insights. This is a test portal, so all this data is fake and everything. So I can see my reports for the month. How am I doing um, against my quota? How much attainment have I met? What have I closed one? How many meetings have I delivered? What pipeline have I created? Any reports like my manager might be looking at, I can see for myself right here from the sales workspace. I can also click over to feed, which is gonna show me anything going on in terms of like email opens, clicks, any documents that I've sent out, if they've been viewed, I can see from this feed here, if people are actually engaging with the stuff that I'm sending them. Now I'm gonna show you one of my favorite parts about this sales workspace. It's this guided actions area. And they actually break this up into different queues too. So this might be some things that you don't have tasks set for, but HubSpot is detecting, you might wanna be you know, doing follow-ups on these or paying attention to this. So here are my test portal, there's not too much going on. It's showing the, the different contacts that I have enrolled in sequences, two different sequences that I have, and new contacts that have been assigned to me but I'm gonna switch over to my live portal just so I can demonstrate this for you. So here you can actually see HubSpot's recommending that I have people waiting for me to reply to them, who I have waiting to reply to me, if I have any recently engaged leads that I wanna follow up with. So this guided action area is really powerful because again, it's showing me things that might, I might be missing um, by assigning tasks to myself. So let's click into our tasks and show you what this task view looks like because this is a really awesome way for a salesperson to be super efficient and get through everything that they need to do during their day. So I can choose what kind of tasks do I wanna do first? Do I wanna focus on calls, emails, LinkedIn? I'm gonna click to go into my calls task. And if you're using HubSpot dialing, it's gonna automatically pop open this dialer here so I can click to call out directly with inside HubSpot. So we have another video on the um, HubSpot calling um, that you can check out, but it's really awesome. I just dial from here. It can either call your phone or ring from directly within browser. So I'm going to X that out. And you can see it organizes all of my tasks. So I uh, called Dawn Alvarez is the task here. In this middle column, I see the contact record. And on the right hand side, I can see the overview or any activities that this person has done, including any tasks that I've created. So again, this is just a test portal, so there's not too much real data in here. Say for some reason, I don't actually wanna call Don Alvarez, I wanna skip this task, I can move down to my next ones, which again, pops open my call dialer. And when I'm actually dialing out to this contact, if they answer, I can scroll down here and find my playbooks that I'm supposed to be using when someone answers that phone. So I'm on the call with Evelyn, she answers, I pop open my playbook here, all from one screen, I can see my tasks, make the phone call, see the contact record, and see my playbook to use as a cheat sheet while I'm on the phone with them without navigating around or clicking different tabs inside of HubSpot. So hopefully you can see how salespeople can really benefit 
from using this task view, playbooks, and all the HubSpot features like for calling and emailing from within HubSpot as well. So I'm just gonna click out of here and I'll switch my tasks over from calls to emails. And it works the same way. Automatically pops open the email sender within HubSpot where I can access any templates, um, any sequences, documents, and things like that to send this person directly from this view. So switching back over to my test portal, we're gonna to navigate to the next tab, which is leads. So by default, it's gonna take you to all of your open leads, which are all of the contacts that are kind of in a pre-deal stage that you are working inside of HubSpot. So you can see I have two open leads. I can add other filters if I want to um, and edit these columns here as well by clicking edit columns. And then I can also view what leads I'm working that are part of my target accounts, who has recent activities, which ones are not actually in sequences. And then if I wanted to view all my leads opened and closed, I can click to view all my leads here. So now we've seen the leads that we're working, which by the way, they should all have tasks open for themselves and be managed through that task area that I showed you a little bit earlier in this video. I can navigate to deals. So this was a big request that people had when this was the sales prospecting workspace, which has now become the sales workspace. Is, is making it functional for salespeople and not just BDRs and things too. So they've now incorporated this deal area here where I can see all of my open deals in one view, see all the deal names, the, uh, schedule activities for them, see what next step, I can edit the stages. And just like any other page inside of HubSpot, I can edit these columns here to add any other properties that I might want. It's really cool because now HubSpot automatically sorts our deals in different categories. So if I can see all my deals with recent activity, I can see anything that might be stalled. So you can see I have a high number of deals that are stalled and a whole lot of revenue in there that I'm not following up with that HubSpot's checking in off or recommending that I reach out to these deals. Or of course, I can go down to um, stale close date, which is things that have a close date in the past, things that have no activity scheduled, my all deals and my closed ones and things like that. What's really awesome is this new score area here. So it's predictive deal score. So if I click in here, it'll pop it open on the right hand side where I can see what's going on in this deal, as well as HubSpot AI telling me where it thinks this deal is at, what its chances are, thinks of closing, the change history, so this has actually gone up 22 in the past three hours, but really this 43 is red, so it's really not great. From this area here, you can even click to create a new deal over here on the right-hand side, which will pop open that create deal form for, uh, for your sales team to add deals to HubSpot. So last but not least is the schedule and feed area, which is very similar to what I showed you in the summary uh, in this right hand side here with schedule and feed. I can click here to see everything that I have going on for the day, uh, as well as feed, um, anything that's going on in terms of email opens, clicks, documents I've sent and things like that. And one last trick I'll share with you, especially if you're a sales manager or someone who um, is working as like a sales assistant and is navigating and helping different salespeople in this uh, name drop down area, if you have the permissions, you can actually click to change this from your name and switch to another user. And you'll see you're viewing as, I'm viewing as Tyler now. So I can see their tasks. I can click into them, their leads, their deals and schedule and things like that. So that's the sales workspace, very powerful tool. Awesome, I can't wait to use it. Hopefully you like this video. Remember to like and subscribe for all the latest and greatest HubSpot hacks. Thanks for watching and happy HubSpotting.